everybody, this is Ellie, and today we're going to talk about how you can make your own Super Mario Galaxy levels. And at the same time, we'll be talking about how you use the program known as Whitehall. Now, the first thing you would want to do is to get the Super Mario Galaxy disk, of course, and you want to extract the files onto your desktop. Um, now, I'm not going to be covering that part up because there are plenty of tutorials on the net that show you how it's done. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you this, you can actually use the Dolphin Wii emulator for it. Um, yeah, but as I said, you want to extract the files onto a folder, just like I have done right here, as you can see. I extracted all the disk files onto uh, this folder, and I've called the folder SMG All Files. This is all the files that, uh, that the disk contains, you could say. Now, um, what you want to do is to download Whitehall. The link, the, the link for the program will be in the description, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, yes, what you want to do now is to open Whitehall, and um, yeah, and when you do so, this window will pop up. You want to go here and select Game Folder, and what it it brings a new window, and this is basically your desktop, and you want to choose the folder that contains the Super Mario Galaxy files. As you remember, mine was called SMG All Files. Click on it and go here, open. Now as you can see, the program displays all the galaxies in the game. Um, the, the galaxy we want to edit is called Red Blue X Galaxy. So we'll just go down here, as you can see it's right here. Now click on it and go here, open galaxy. Yeah. Um, the program makes you able to see the galaxy, as you can see is right here. I'm just going to rotate, so I'll show you the galaxy. Uh, now, the special thing about this program is that you can see the changes you make in the game. Let's say I want to move an enemy around to a different position. So I'm just going to zoom in and click on my enemy. When I click on an object, it highlights, as you can see. Now I can drag the enemy around to a different position. Let's say I want to place him right here. And yeah, so it's really, it's actually really easy, you could say. Um, yeah, but um, we could also get to the interesting part. Um, let's say I wanted to add my own object into the level. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just zoom out a little bit and uh, zoom in again. We're going to go in here, go here to the add object tab, press it and go here, general object. I'm going to press on it and this window will pop up and let's say I want to add a coin so I'll just write a coin and I'm going to select this one just press on it and go down here to the select tab click on it and now what you want to do if you want to place uh, multiple objects you want to click uh, you want to press and hold the shift button and just and then just um, click around where you want to place your object. Let's say I want my object to, play, to, be, pl uh, to be placed right here, sorry. <clears throat> just click here, and let's say we want an object here, one here, just click wherever you want the object to be placed. Yeah, and as you can see, I've just placed four coins. Now, um, let's just add something else. Let's say I want to add an enemy. So, um, I will just type in Goomba because that's the uh, known Mario enemy. As you can see, when you press it, first enemy you see in any Mario game. Let's say I want my enemy to be right here. Now, if you uh, press on an object, this little window will be displayed. Now, what it shows you is the object name, the zone, and where it's placed, which galaxy, and so on. Now, if you just uh, scroll down, you can see something more interesting, you could say. now. If you have had math, I'm sure you know, you already know what this is. This is the X position, the Y, and the Z position. Now, if you don't know what it is, you can just experiment with it. As you can see when I move the Z position, the, um, the enemy, the position of the enemy changes. Yeah. Now, if you scroll down, you can see the scale. Obviously, you're not meant to play with this. <laughs> you can change the size of the enemy, but yeah. You can do whatever you want. Um, the 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 object argument uh, field is um, now the 
the arguments are abilities, you could say, and uh, w the abilities of an object is kind of different from an object to an object, of course. Now, uh, if you want to find information about this Goomba and what it's capable of doing, how fast it can run and so on, I suggest you go to Kuribo64.net, the link will be in the description because they have a so-called object database where it displays a lot of information about um, all, almost all the objects in the game. Now, yeah, let's say I'm gonna, uh, let's say we're gonna add something more interesting like a sling star. So we go here again, add object, and we're gonna write in sling star. I'll just place mine right here. And uh, now, you know, the sling star, it, uh, it, uh, it transports Mario to a different location. Now, how do we set this, um, how do we, how do we um, um, set this uh, location? I'm sure you're asking this question right now. Well, I'm gonna tell you. You go down here to the add, you go up here actually to the add object field again. Go down to the path, click on it, and place the, pla the and place the path right here. Now uh, go back to the add object and add the path point. Let's say we want our sling to, sling star to send us to this platform. So I'm going to um, I'm going to place the path point right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the we're gonna take the uh, the paths. And we're gonna put it right up here, as you can see. Now, what's really important to do now is you want to highlight the you want to press the uh, to, you want to click on the the path point and uh, go to this one called path ID. I'm gonna set my path ID to 122. You can set it to whatever you want actually. Uh, now go back to your sling star and click on it and go to this little window window right here and you want to scroll down to the path ID and what you want to do is change the path ID to the to the um, to the path to the path points ID as you remember path points ID was 122 therefore you want to change it to the same number now what this does is when Mario gets near the star and he uh, spins it it will send him right over here now let's uh, let's test this let's test the level and see if it actually works now we go up here and go to the save and just press save to save your level I'm just gonna pause the video and open up Dolphin and the reason why I'm using Dolphin is it's just a lot faster to do it that way instead of turning your Wii on every time and yes here I am with Dolphin uh, as you can see it lags a little bit and the reason why is I'm using a laptop and it's really not that fast you could say the graphics are not that good the GPU but um, as long as it's, it's kind of playable, it should uh, should work, hopefully. Now let's go check out our new edited level, you could say. This is Flip Swap Galaxy. Fly to this galaxy. We want to see if the objects that we place really are what they're, uh, they are supposed to be. <laughs> now, yep, as you can see, the four coins are right here, and the Goomba that we placed is also here. Oh. Now, let's see if our slingshot works, probably. Yep, it works beautifully. It sends us right where we want to be sent to this platform. And uh, yeah, that was basically it. And then if you have any questions, you can just write it into the uh, comment section. Oops. And um, 
in the, uh, the next tutorial, we will be covering how you can import your own objects and models into the um, into the, the game into the game, and we will also be looking at how you can um, how you can make objects appear by collecting by defeating enemies and so on. So it's gonna really it's really gonna be exciting, you could say. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video.